Okay, today we will talk about uh, strain and we will start by no more straining. So just a simple rod submitted to uh, a normal tension. Do that. Oops, we are, no, I will just draw it. Up. Something like this. This is inside the wall and we are applying a force P, okay? And for the strain, we don't talk about the forces, we don't talk about the stress, uh, we don't even talk about the area. We are just looking at the difference between the length. So what was given to us, it was this length. So this is this original length was two meters. And when we pull on it, the road will increase a little bit, just a little bit, okay, depending on the force. So let's say it increased by a delta equal maybe 10 centimeters. Oh, 10 centimeters is a lot. 10 millimeters. Okay, very small. Uh, all the materials will have a small deformation. It depends on how stiff are the materials. Some of them will have a bigger deformation. Some of them have a smaller deformation. We will see that with the uh, um, property of each materials. But what we call the elongations will be epsilon. Oh my God, how did I get there? Epsilon equal the delta. So the increase in length divided by the original length. So in this case, that will be 10 millimeters equal 0, 0.0. Okay, one, two, 10. So like this, so millimeters, centimeters, decimeters, meters. So make sure that you have the same unit. So 0 0.01 divided by two. And this is equal to, of course I didn't open my Excel. I had my calculation in Excel. Make sure you have your calculator in front of you. I'm taking that out. Okay, so this is 0 0.01 divided by two. And this is, 0 0.005, okay? Of course, why did I take my calculator for that? Don't do that. <laughs> um, so there's no dimensions. Uh, you can also um, see it in percentage to percentage. You move two decimals to the right, so that will be 0 0.5%, okay? Usually the strain, normal strain is small, okay? It's not supposed to be big, it's not a, Elastic. If it will be a rubber band, yes, that will be big. But if it's metal, it will be small. Um, and if we have dimensions, for example, instead of having in meters, we have uh, original dimensions. Let's say something three feet. And it's increased by, let's say, 0 0.5 inch. Okay. Uh, because the dimension is small, it's possible that it's given in two different units. So what you need to do first, change your unit. So your E equals your delta divided by L or L naught. Sometimes you can see L naught. Um, the original length. So that will be 0 0.5 inch divided by 3 times 12 to get them in inches too. So we will have equal 0 0.5 divided by 36. So this is 0 0.0139, so epsilon equal 1.39%, okay? Again, if it's very stiff, that will be small. Um, we don't expect the structure or the materials or the parts to um, have a large strain if it's made with metal. So. The only thing that you have to be careful on, on that one, your units. Make sure that you compare the same units and that on the top, it's the deformations, it's the little increase in length, and on the bottom of your fractions, that will be your initial length before the force was applied. Hope that makes sense. Bye-bye.